Hi everyone, this is the walkthrough for the January 13th gas. This is called Moving On, and it's by Bill Murphy. It's a killer Sudoku, so in addition to normal Sudoku rules, 1 to 9 inch row column and 3 by 3 box, we also have some cages. The number in the top left corner of the cage gives the sum of the digits within that cage. So this cage is a 17. These two cells contain digits that sum to 7. We don't have to worry about repeated digits in any of these cages, they are all contained in either a row or a column, so they can't repeat anyway. So let's get started with our extreme cages. For two cells, the minimum we can have is three. So that has to be one, two. The maximum we can have is 17, and that's with eight. Four and 16 are also restricted. The only way to make four and two cells without repeats is one, three. Since we already have our 1 in the column, this has to be the 3, this has to be the 1. 16 has to be 7 and 9. It's the only way to make 16 without repeats. You could have two 8s, but that would be 8, obviously. We already have the 9 in the column, so this is 7, 9, and that works. Now, if we look at the 6 here, there are only two ways to make 6 in two cells. One of those is 1, 5, but we already have a 1 in the column. So instead, we have to have 2, 4. And since our 2 is in the 6 cage, this can't be 2. So 1, 2 in that order. And now looking across here, 5 also has two possibilities. One of them is 2, 3, but we've just eliminated that. The other possibility is 1, 4. So that one has to be 1, 4. And we can do something similar with the 14 here. We can't have 5, 9, so instead we have 6, 8. That places a 9 and an 8. And now the 15 can't be 7, 8, so it has to be 6, 9. All right, looking at this 6 cage, this digit can't be 1, 2, 3, or 4. It also can't be 6 or higher, so that would take us at the sum or higher. We would need a 0 or a negative number here. So the only thing this can be is 5, and it has to go with 1. Likewise here, we can't have 6 or 8 or 9 or 7. We have to have at least 5, or we're not going to be able to get 14 in two cells. So this is 5. Okay, Bill posted a short with a little hint for this puzzle. And you might be wondering how this hint applies. So the hint that he posted was about a 5 and a 6 cage. So let's just use this for an example. Um, if we also had a 6 cage in cells, what would the 6 be? Well, it can't be 1, 5 because we've used the 1. It also can't be 2, 4 because we've used the 4. So we would have broken this puzzle if we tried to put 1, 4 in the 5 cage. The only way you can have a 5 and a 6 where all the cells see each other, is a 2, 3 in the 5 cage and a 1, 5 in the 6 cage. Now we don't have that situation anywhere in this puzzle. So Bill's been a little bit cheeky here. What we do have is a 7 and an 8 in a box where we've already used the 1. So the fact that this 1 is in the box and doesn't appear in these cages makes this situation entirely analogous to the 5-6. So, how can we show that without just knowing that it's the case? 7 can't be 1-6 if there's 1 in the box. So it can be 2-3, or sorry, 2-5 or 4-3. I said that in a weird order, but hopefully you know what I mean. 2-5-3-4. Those are the possibilities. 8 without the 1 could be 2, 6, or 3, 5. Now, we have a problem if we put 2, 5 in the 7 cage, because having a 2, 5 here rules out both possibilities for the 8. We either have a 2 in the 8 with a 6, or we have a 5 with the 3. So this can't be 2, 5. And since it's 3, 4, this can't be 3, 5. And that's the only possibility for those two cages. 
this is exactly the same as the 5, 6 case, just adding 1 to all of the numbers. So if this were a 5 and this were a 6, and this 1 weren't here, we'd have 2, 3, and 1, 5. Since we have the 1 here, we have to start at 2, and we're just bumping all of these digits up. Another way you can look at it is, how can we make 15 and 4 cells without using a 1? The minimum we can have without using a 1 is 14. So in fact, there's only one way to do it, making 15 in 4 cells if we can't use the 1, and that is 2, 3, 4, 6. Then the only way to make 7 out of those digits is the 3, 4. The only way to make 8 is the 2, 6. So that's the tricky step in this puzzle. Um, and we have the same thing down here with the 12 and 13 cages. So the 13 can't be 9, 4. It could be 8, 5, or 6, 7. The 12 can't be 3, 9. It could be 4, 8, or 5, 7. But whichever of these is, uh, is in the 12, we're either using a 5 or an 8. We have 5 with 7, or we have 8 with 4. So 5, 8 in this cage would break it. And now that we have the 7 over here, this can't be 5, 7. So it is 4, 8, and 6, 7. And again, you could confirm that by thinking about how to make 25 in 4 cells without using a 9. This is the only way to do it, 4, 6, 7. Okay, so we have 3, 4 looking down here. That's 8, that's 4. We have 6, 7 looking up here. That's 2, that's 6. Uh, we still need a 1 in this box, and it can't go in any of these cells because of this 1. We still need a 9 up here. There's a 9 there, so 9 has to go in the middle cell. And now we're going to be left with 5, 7, and 8. To complete the box, this can't be 8. This can't be 7. And it also can't be 5, because to make 12 with a 5, we would need a 7. And we still can't have a 7. So in fact, this is 8, this is 4. These three cells need to contain 2, 3, and 5 in some order. This one's not 2. This one is not 3. Um, and the symmetry breaks a little bit here, so this 12 and this 11 are not analogous, so we don't have quite the same logic here. Um, so instead of looking down at the 7 to resolve this, we're going to look at this 9 here. 2 would have to go with 9, so instead we have 5, 6. The 5 places 7 and 5. Uh, the 5 here places 3, 2. The 8 here resolves our 6, 8. And the 2 resolves 4, 2. All right, across here we need 6 and 8. Across here we need 2 and 4. Uh, 8 in this box. We've got an 8 there. We've got an 8 looking down. 8 also can't go in a 3 cell 10 cage. So we would need to make 2 in the remaining two cells. So this is our only place for 8. These are 5 and 9. 9 also can't go into 10 page. This has to be 9 here and 5 here. And now we have 5 left for these two cells. We can't have 1, 4, so we must have 2, 3 instead. The 2 resolves the order. This is 1 in the column, and we are left with a 7 in the column or the box. Alright. These are 2, 3, and 5, but we have 5 in two of those columns. This can't be 2 or number of reasons. These are 3, 5, and 7. 3 and 5 here. This also can't be 5, so this is 3. Now we are left with 6, 7, 9. We have a 6 and 9 here, and a 9 and 7 here. 6, 7, 9. These are 1, 4, 8. We have 1 and 4 here. We have a 1 here. All right, in this column we need 6 and 9. We have a 6 up here, though. So 9, 6. That 6 is going to resolve 7, 6 here. It's also going to resolve this 6, 8, and so 7. And here we have 1 and 4, but we have 4 down here. So 1, 4, the 4 resolves 3, 4. 4 also resolves 2, 4. Okay, and 
really we mostly just got these corner boxes left there there are several ways that you could finish this off i'm going to look at this box this is what i saw when i was solving it so i'm going to use it again um the digits left here are two six seven eight we have two and six here so these are seven and eight we know they were in this eight you could also see that as a hidden single eight that's the only place for eight and then these are two and six, but there's two there, so six, two. That's six resolves six, nine. These are three and nine. I have a nine in the row. These are five and seven. Then over here we have four and eight with an eight there. And that resolves one, four. These are two and three with a two there. And then these are three, seven with three there. And five and one. And that is the solution to moving on by Bill.